Hi, and welcome back to another episode on How to Hack. Today we'll be learning about the dangers of clicking any unknown links, especially if you don't validate where exactly the link's going to. And it can be a very, very tough process of validating all those links because on the first part, you're going into the domain. But actually on the other parts, it could be doing routing to any other addresses. Right in front of us, we're on Mutiliday. And Mutiliday is a vulnerable web application system for us to do all our penetration testing on. And this is wonderful because it helps speed up the whole process of learning about the different hacking techniques and process that you can put in place to understand about the vulnerabilities that can be associated with, for example, Open Web Application Security Project Top 10. So what we can do right now is on the left side, we have OWSP 2013. And as you can see here, we have all these common vulnerabilities for you to test them all out. And we are going to focus on A10 right here. So I'll scroll down further and you can see right here, there's unvalidated redirects as well as forwards. So let's go ahead and click credits. So what exactly is unvalidated redirect? So what is happening here is that a lot of times whenever certain sites, they're linking all this different websites, affiliates, their sponsors, and so on. They may be using certain kind of redirection links that allow them to also keep track of where the referral or referral is actually coming from. And in this case, for example, we can do a right click on OWSP and I can click under inspect element. And once you're on the inspect element, what we can see right here is I can zoom in a little more so you can see the code more precisely. And you can see here, there is an index.php question mark, page equal redirect and log dot PHP and forward URL. So what could possibly be happening right here is that the application system is actually pointing us to a specific website at the same time it is running a lock. That means it actually points where you have clicked onto a link so that they have some kind of analytics that they're able to know how many users actually click on those links and so on. And if I was to expand further and you can see on the DIV class on another link, likewise, right, we can see the page redirect and lock.php. So if I go ahead and click onto the link right here, if I clicked on it, we can see that we will get redirected to a completely different site. And this is, of course, OWSP.org. So this is exactly where we want to be linked to. And if I go back to the site here, the big problem is that a lot of scammers and hackers, as they're sending out all these scam emails and SMSs and messages via social media platforms, via all these different kind of channels, what they would do is that they would do a right click They'll inspect the element, just like what we're doing here. And instead, what they would do is they'll copy the link address and they would just paste it right here. As you can see, I'm pasting it right here. And instead of going to OWSP.org, say for example, they change it to HTTPS slash slash And because whenever they're sending all these links to you, you will see only the first part, which is the domain name. And because we trust the domain name generally, we miss out on all the different kind of payloads, redirection and possible hacking techniques and attempts that comes with the payload only after the domain name. So if I hit enter on this, watch carefully. We get redirected to loyliangyang.com. By the way, I know I've said this many times, please do not try to hack my website because we need this website to be running all the time. And of course, I haven't started a bug bounty program yet. So just hang on a little while. If you want to hack, all right, download and run Mutility right here, and you'll be able to test out all these different kind of hacking techniques on. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. If there are any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of the questions. But like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.